Yo what's up guys so welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to give you an ultimate guide to reduce your input delay here in Fortnite. I'm basically going to show you all of the most important steps each and every single one of you can do in order to get closer to zero input delay and I'm going to show you step by step how to apply all of these settings guys and if you enjoy this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel guys. It's basically one click and it would mean so much to me guys. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and what we're now going to do in the first place is move over to a Windows search bar and just simply type in keyboard until we can actually find our keyboard settings here on Windows. And then we can already see now that we have something like repeat delay and repeat rate guys. And what we have to do basically after each and every single Windows update to make sure that we naturally reduce the input delay of our keyboard here in Windows already is put our repeat delay onto short so that we can really like spam our keys you know what i'm saying guys so we have no additional delay if we put it on long we can spam it as fast and this is super important for editing in fortnite because something like double or triple edits guys you know the vibes we have to spam our keyboard and repeat rate guys as well onto fast super super important guys then we're going to click onto apply and we're already done here so far with the first step but what we're going to do additionally now is go into our device manager guys, open it up real quick and in there now we should have a list with basically all of our keyboards and mice guys and what I want you to do is update each and every single driver here. Usually if you use any keyboard of like a higher tier brand you know it's usually going to tell you here something like SteelSeries, Apex Pro, whatsoever, Logitech G Pro, Superlight, all these. And what we want to do is make sure that they're always up to date. Every single one of these drivers here guys, just simply click once through and you can see now the best drivers for your device are already installed. So we're chilling here guys. So we're going to go through each and every single one, just making sure that we have all of the most up to date drivers. And then we basically already done here. Then we're going to move over to keyboards, do exactly the same thing that we can see it as well. And yeah, then we're already done here. <laughs> so guys, and in this next step now, we're going to take a look at the following pack, which is going to be called Reduce Input Delay, in which we have a bunch of useful tweaks, guys, and also ISLC. By the way, guys, you can find the pack, of course, on my website. There should be a link in the description, guys. And then you can see on the top already FPS boost, input delay, or stretch resolution. And we are, of course, going to click onto input delay. And once you get redirected, there should be a post here on the top with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. Again, click onto it. And once you get redirected, guys, there should be a download button which is going to redirect you to Google Drive which is standing for intelligence sent by list cleaner guys and this program is so insane because once you launch it actually on your PC you can see now in the first place it's going to need all the data of your PC in the first place your total RAM and everything your standby list and working set and free memory and especially free memory is so important on your PC guys pretty much the more you have the less like you're gonna have on your PC. And what we can do here now in the first place guys is um, we can purge our standby list manually, which we could do. You can see now that we have now a lot more free memory because all the memory which is already working in your PC, you know, every single action you do basically on your PC is gonna get saved on your memory sticks until you restart your PC. And we can purge it here manually while actually clicking on this button. So it gets like all released or cleaned basically. So we have more free memory. Or we could do it here with like automatic cleaning process. So we can see now the list size is at least one gigabyte. Let's just say as an example that we're actually going to put it on 10 gigs. Yeah, because I'm right now you're running 32 gigs of RAM. For you as an example, if you're running eight gigs of RAM, you can put it even on two or three already. Yeah, and free memory is lower than, and I would say something like maybe 5,000. So therefore five gigs of RAM, yeah? So therefore if my free memory gets filled up too much and goes underneath 5,000, it gets automatically released again and I have a lot more free memory. Around these normal 26 to 27 gigabytes usually. And then additionally guys, we also have timer set resolution here built in, which we can put to the minimum of 0.5 milliseconds of any interaction here with our keyboard. And then we're just simply gonna click on to start guys and this program is now gonna run in the background, always getting to make sure that we have a lot lot of free memory which is going to give us less input delay so therefore we just simply have to leave it here in the background and we can also actually check here start minimized while launching windows so we don't even have to worry about it anymore and next up guys we also have mouse and keyboard tweaks in here we first of all gonna go into keyboard and then we have keyboard optimizations which we're going to enable here real quick which is going to reduce the input delay of our mouse and keyboard while actually applying both of these here real quick then next up guys, we also have mouse scaling tweaks and this one we just simply gonna put onto 100% 
and this is going to remove any sort of mouse acceleration or anything which could make your mouse unprecise while using on your gaming PC. And then of course also the Xanderbats tweak guys, by the way huge huge shout out to him. This is like an overall optimization registry which is going to make sure to give you the least amount of input delay on your Windows PC. And then we're already done here with this pack guys and as mentioned you can pretty much like delete anything except ISLC which I would just simply leave somewhere here on my desktop and it's anyways going to auto launch in the background. And for this next step guys, I want to talk about something which seems maybe a little bit weird in the first place but actually the main reason why so many Fortnite pros have their RGB turned off is that RGB gives you additional input delay because this is like another service basically running on your keyboard guys which is going to increase your input delay so therefore if you're trying to get less input delay really make sure that you try and Really make sure that you disable your whole entire RGB effects on your keyboard. You know, most of the keyboards nowadays are really advanced and they have a really high tier software, you know. And that one is costing you so much additional input delay if you have the software running, the RGB effects or anything which is basically linked to your keyboard. So therefore really make sure to disable as much as possible guys. Disabling your RGB is super easy depending on your software. You just simply have to open it up and there you should have a button to disable all of the RGB effects. And also make sure to uninstall actually the keyboard software itself if you don't need it anymore for just the driver, yeah? So if you don't need it, just simply make sure that you get rid of it because it's gonna be connected to your keyboard 24 seven causing you additional latency because yeah, it's additional service. And with that said, we're already done here with this step as well. And as a final tip guys, I want to show you no ping real quick because no ping is one of the greatest tools in terms of if you want to reduce your ping, but they also additionally now have a built-in input delay reducer, which is gonna be called Turbo Games. This function improves the keyboard responses guys. And all you gotta do is just simply enabling this small switch here on no ping. And then once you get it guys, your input delay is already gonna get reduced. They also have a FPS boost mode in here. This option will boost the FPS of your game. This is giving you better performance guys. And when you enable both of these here and also select the server with the least amount of ping in your near, you're gonna have guaranteedly way less input delay guys. So therefore make sure to check out no ping over the link in the description guys. And with this link, you also can get by the way 20% off, but they also have like a one week test trial. So therefore everyone can try it out. But trust me guys, especially the input delay reducer is actually crazy on this one here. I'm not gonna lie, I use no ping each and every single time before actually hopping in game. And yeah, it's amazing. Yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.